and Squirrel Stampede is playing Minecraft again. Welcome everyone, this is episode 12. We have made it back and we have a lot of things to do today, lots of things to do. So where do we start? Oh man, I think what I'd like to work on first today is the old sheep farm over there. Uh, I think we gotta change some of the colors of the sheep. They're kind of bland and boring over there. So let's get to work on that first. There's our squirrel house, and let's get some stuff ready to get our sheep ready. I need to get some dye, and I think what I first need to do is make some bone meal. Uh, isn't bone meal the best thing ever? Bone meal. Sounds delicious. So let's make a few bone meal mealies, and then I could start making some dye. Uh, oh, light blue dye. I'd like a light blue dye to sheep. That would be fun. So we got that ready to go. I'll just make an extra one just in case. And what other options do I have? Oh, rose red. Hmm, looks like I'm going to have to find a poppy, a uh, pink dye, a peony. Is that how you say it? Um, what other things in here? Don't really like the guide on this one. I don't have cactus yet, so not going to be able to do that. I think we'll have to look for a desert someday. Purple dye, lapis, and rose red. Well, let's go over here to my um, collection of possible flowers we can use and then we can use them finally. So I've got a poppy here, I've got some rose bush, I don't think lilac's going to do anything. I've got some dandelions, so hopefully we've got at least one more of color of sheep we can work on for decorating our sheep up a little bit. Ah, dandelion yellow. So we've got that. Make a couple of those couple a lot of those and now I just have to figure out how to find a yellow dye here there's a rose red so we can do a couple of those got the rose red ready to go good good Ooh, pink dye we can make pink dye there we go perfect any other colors we can do right now I was hoping for purple dye there we go it's kind of very spring-like, a spring-like color day. Um, but I don't think I have really anything else. Really would like to find a cactus. And I'm pretty sure I have not found a cactus yet in this game. But we'll just go with these three colors today. We don't need to go too crazy. So we've got our colors and now we're gonna go down to the sheep pen. And I think I left my shears down there so I don't need to get them. That is my little crate of um, extra wool and things like that so here we go over here over there oh my puppy has just been really silly today he's been just doing silly things um, I keep finding him not where I've told him to be and all that and we run down here oh look at that we've got a wolf dog hanging out by my sheep farm this has been very common this whole forest area has been kind of a wolf generating type of thing so we're gonna have to sadly say um, oh one hit and he's down sorry buddy don't like to do that too much check around here again see if there's any more wolves I think we're good okay well now let's head on over over around to the front of the farm here and kinda come in here and see our sheep how many sheep do we have one two three four five six I count that right one, two, three, four, five, six sheep. Good deal. Maybe before we color, let's um, let's breed a couple more sheep. Get my shears out. I got a lot of stuff on me right now. A lot of stuff. Um, let's breed one more set of sheep. Uh, so we're set to go. Who who wants the food? This is this is silly. There we go. They're happy. They're happy sheep. And we might just see a oh, baby sheep. Oh, how cute! How cute! And these guys are like, I want some too! I want some food! And well, I guess we'll make another baby sheep. So now we got a lot of sheep. I, I gotta put this food down. Alright, so who wants to be the pink sheep? I think you are. There we go, we got a pink sheep. And who wants to be the light blue dyed sheep? I think this guy who's running away. Boom! You're the light blue dyed sheep. And who wants to be the purple sheep? Boom! That's you! So now we have three really festively colored sheep in the lot. 
And now, we're going to shear them. <laughs> oh no! Now you're not what you're supposed to be for a day or so until it grows back. It's been a while since I've sheared them. Sometimes it just pops right back in. So let's just get a bunch of this. Oh, how funny. I've got so much stuff on me, I can't even pick it up right now. Um, let's put the wheat back, put my... Um, I'll, I'll keep some of the dye in here. Um, everybody remember, this is where I left my dye. I think that's, that's that'll be easy. That's a good spot in case I need to use it again. I'll probably be using it with the sheep. Uh, oh, gotta get the pink sheep. Gotta get the pink sheep. Ha ha ha! Right on! So now, basically, every time I play, I have to remember to come over here, shear some sheep, and slowly, I will be able to um, obtain a good quantity of different color um, wool sets, which will be fun to do. Uh, there's the purple. There we go. So I think we've done that. We think we're there. Oh, that sheep already grew back its wool. I like that when you first join in to the shearing. Uh, we'll be able to get lots of wool. Okay, so that was kind of a fun little activity today for part one of episode 12. Now you've got your wool back. My goodness, what do I feed these guys? So cool. It's a good start. Good start. I'm going to have to go to the desert someday and get a cactus. That'll be maybe the next episode or the next one after that. Just do kind of like a wander. Today, though, I'd like to go back to the nether. Uh, that's where we were yesterday. Not yesterday. That's where we were last episode and we kind of poked our head in and, and really scared ourselves but now we're gonna kind of build a, like a little stone fortress so that we can feel safer there and right now though it's bedtime let's run inside now we'll grab a couple pumpkins it's not too dark yet pumpkin one pumpkin two. Oh, I just killed that pumpkin plant way to go um, hit the hit the wrong part there but that's okay Oh, sorry buddy. He's like, let me in for the goodness sakes! Ah, Come on, come on. Alright, so we are in. Let's take a nap. And then we'll head over to the nether and build our stone fortress. That we can be safe from the ghast and all of that. And maybe kind of look around a little more. Maybe we can spot a fortress or something in there. Okay, so what do we need? I think I need to rearrange my chest here. I've got way too much stuff to go into the nether with all this stuff. I'll leave some of this new dandelion yellow that I was playing around with. Some of these poppies. Uh, the lapis can go in here even though that's not where I store my lapis. I uh, don't want to lose the bones. Oh, I can't lose my new bone meal collection. Um, don't want to lose my shears. I should have left those with the sheep. I'll just put them there. It's kind of a bad spot. I'm getting unorganized. A couple buckets. Try to remember to bring some water. And I think I'm fully armored up. Yep, I'm armored up, so I'm safe to go into the nether again. <laughs> Say, are you looking for some cobblestone? I've got some for sale. <laughs> There's a lot of cobblestone, so I think we're going to be good there. How many blocks should I bring? One more? I think that's more than enough. We can't do that much damage in one day. And let's see. Oh, what was I looking for? Uh, I still have my flint and steel just in case that turned off. And I think I've got everything I want to bring. I've got food. Um, I don't want to bring a bed. That wouldn't be very smart. Poke my head out here. And I think we're good. We'll head down. Oh, before I go, I've got a couple funny pictures to show you. Actually, one picture is really nice. This picture right here, my daughter Anna drew, or actually it, not drew, stamped. It's a rainbow stamp, um, rainbow with doggy paw prints. So very, very festive for the season. And then my son, he drew this great picture. It's kind of hard to see what is going on here exactly, but um, I think what's going on is the dad, um, or this kid, stole the dad's cell phone down on the bottom here and then the creeper up on top or actually no the zombie and then his robot friend uh they tried to get the phone back by this long arm and then the kid's nose or mouth he was so scared it turned into a triangle because he's like Whoo! and it looks like a bird's beak so we all laughed so there's a couple funny images of the day love silly fun pictures like that 
If you ever want to send one, just send one over to me somehow, and I'll show it, maybe. Um, so, what do we got going here? Um, where, where are we? I'm lost. Oh, over here. Over back here, remember are the stairs of our squirrel house. Uh, back here, we have built our scary uh, portal, and it's still open. Our gate to the nether is still open, right under where we sleep, and looking very purpular and all that. So let's hop on in, see what we got. Ooh, oh dear, we're going in. And, oh boy, it's warm in here. The first thing I need to probably do is start building a wall, because I'm probably gonna get smashed by something here. Oh, is there a ghast over there yet? Oh, this is scary. So what I wanna do is kinda make this this little protection zone. That way when I come in here, I'm not like right away just like attacked. Cause it gets pretty scary in here. I'll probably put a door right there. Um, I think we're doing good so far. Oh, a lot of fire. Oh, I was gonna bring water in here, wasn't I? Can you put wire, water in here? I can't remember. What happens when I put water? Is it similar? Is it just kind of poof out or something? Oh, what is that? Oh, pig man. Whew, that guy scared me. Pig men are okay if you don't do anything bad to them. The other thing I'm kind of forgetting about is torches in here. What do torches do? I mean, they kind of like lighten it up, right? They make it a little better. I guess I could put a door over there. Oop. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm kind of building a little fast and chaotic like so I don't get in too much trouble. And I think I've got my first first perimeter wall built. Feeling a little safer here. Last time, remember when that gas just came up right over here and just powed us once? So worried about that. Um, just kind of building as quickly as I can. Oh, already got through my first set of cobblestone. Do you think I brought enough? Thought I brought way too much. All right, so here we go. Building a little more. Wow, what is down there? That is creepy down there. Um, let's keep going. Dum bum bum. Build around. So let's continue this build real quick. <laughs> All right, I think I built a nice little wall around. I'll probably have to build a roof here in just a second. I think this will work just fine to start us off. Maybe kind of dig out some of this as well. I think I brought a door with me. Did I bring doors with me? I did. Good deal. Oh, I hear a ghast. So I better hurry. I heard a little kitty cat kind of kind of cry. So I got my doors built in, and now I just need to build a roof as fast as I can. I hear that ghast. It's out there. I also need to get rid of this these fires in my house. Oh, now I've got another gas shot in my window right there. I've got to put out these fires. That's just dangerous. Maybe for the moment... Oh, I'm running out of um, material already. I should have brought more cobblestone. Alright, let's put this here just in case. There we go. You see it? Oh, the gas is just right outside the door. It's just right out there. It's gonna fly over my house if I'm not careful. Don't think it can get in here. This is probably the most dangerous part, right up in here. It can still probably fly over. Oh, scary. I hear it just kind of wandering about. I'm a horrible builder right now. Ah! Oh, more fire. Gast, he's here. He's here somewhere, just flying around. Trying to build this as fast as I can. I just got hit. I just got nailed. Ow! I'm gonna have to like, like stop burning here for a second. There we go. Right, right on me. He's like right above me somewhere here. 
Almost got the roof built though. I don't know how we got through that last little corner. Okay, okay, I finally, finally got things going. That was really awkward. This whole build got a little bit awkward with my control too. I kept putting things in the wrong spot. And I think it was this hole here. I didn't level out my ground, so every time I fell, fell down a level, I was just like messed up where I was putting my blocks. But I think we're good. We finally have a nice safe zone. I just used way more cobblestone than I thought I would use. Note to self, bring more cobblestone. And there we go with our small little fortress. We gotta find where this guest is. Oh, he's right there! Ah! Yikes! Wow! Right there, you see him right out the window. That's just great. Hang on a second. Okay, this is just nuts. I can't believe this guy is just right there. I wonder if I could do that trick where you bat the fire back into its face. Never been able to really do that very well. Oh, it left. It's gone now. It's probably just flying over the house. Ooh, that's a far drop. Anyone see the ghast? Oh, this does not oh. look like a good idea. Okay, we'll just venture over here a little bit. Probably what I should be doing is building extra little fortress protectors around this zone so I have places to hide. Um, oh, there he is, down there. Hey, ghast, over here! Over here! Come on, na 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 Uh-oh, 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 it's coming, it's coming. What are you gonna do about it? Are you asleep? You can't see me. Can't... Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, did I get it? Kind of. Okay, here we go. Oh! Let's see if I can bat this back. Oh! Oh, I'm really causing my house some damage on this. Oh my goodness. Okay, here he comes, here he comes. Uh, oh! Oh, oh! One more, one more. Uh, oh! In a bad spot right here. Uh, oh! I think that would hit me. Oh, I'm really hurt. I gotta go inside. Oh! Oh no! Ah! Oh, I died! Oh, I can't believe I died! Why was I being so careless? Oh man, it's been a while since I've died. Ouch! Well, let's go run back, see if I can get some stuff. Ah, oh, that was stupid of me. Why do I get so careless sometimes? Uh, I was having fun just playing baseball with a ghast, and then that's what hit me. Is this the second time I've died on screen? I had like a really good, um, <laughs> some of my stuff flew back through the portal. Okay, back in. Back in. Here we go. Yeah, not this side. What's going on? There's my dog. There's all my stuff. Oh, that was sad. That was a sad death for me. Kind of embarrassing. Um, I should not have been playing baseball with the cast at my level. I had like something like 30 experience points too, something like crazy high for me. Um, and now it's all gone. I've, I've learned not to play baseball with a ghast, I know. I'm gonna get a lot of um, lectures about that one, but it's okay, I'm, I'm okay. Um, next time I'll bring something to protect me from all this fire. Goodness, fire every... <laughs> everywhere so let's see let's explore just a little more of the nether here I think the ghast is gone well maybe not I hear it oh he's over there I should oh geez I should be a little more careful here a little more careful I kind of wanted to light up the area a little bit um, but probably not the smartest thing right now kind of want to walk over here real quick See if I can can evade the gas. Kind of keep some cobblestone handy so I can build a wall just in case. How am I going to get down there? That's going to be kind of a fun drop. I'm going to build like a little um, a little stairway. Oh dear, here it comes again. Hope I can get this stairway built. Oh bad. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, he's shooting me over here now. How am I going to get out of here? Oh. Okay, build a wall, build a wall, build a wall. I am now in trouble. Again, I've got myself in trouble again the second time here. I'm in the little square. The ghast has surrounded me. Oh my goodness. What a mess of an episode this is going to be. I 
think if I dig my way up a little bit, I can, I can get back up to the house and not have the gas give me too much trouble. Um, here we go. Awkward Adventures in the Nether. I think that's the uh, level of this episode. Okay, so there it is again. Is that gonna? Do you see him? He's just right there. Just gotta get up a little bit. Back up and not get hit by this guy. So my house, my dog's been okay. All right, so we're back in. I think we're safe. That didn't sound good. Oh, my dog! Did my dog, oh no! <laughs> Where am I? Okay, just, just run for the house, run for the house! Oh my goodness, worst place ever. Oh my goodness. I need to have some better safety precautions here. Into the house, just go, just go. I think my dog was just obliterated in front of our eyes. That was horrible, what am I trying to show you today? I still hear the dog barking. I'm never going to the nether again. Closing this door. Um, I think the dog is okay. Never again, I'm just gonna stay in my little safety house right here. Uh, yeah, go back and save the dog. Hello, hello, the dog is okay. All right, guys, hang on a second. The dog might still be alive. I still hear it barking. It took me a few screams from the squirrels. Um, how are we going to get this dog if it's in there? This is just a nightmare of a mess. There's the gas. Jeez. All right. Build, like, another wall here. Try and get this dog back. If it's still alive. I hear the dog, I hear it. It's here. But where? I definitely got blown up into the sky somewhere. There it is! It was right there the whole time somewhere! Okay, let's go, let's go! Come on! Come on, boy! Let's get out of here! Let's never speak of this again! Come on, where are you? Come on, there you are! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my goodness, I can't believe we saved the dog! We made it! Oh, we made it! I can't believe it. I nearly killed the dog in front of everyone. That would have been horrible. Let's go get the dog some food right now and uh, make sure it's okay. I should have carried some zombie flesh with me, but we'll get some at the house. I thought I just saw I hear it. Oh, you were the most trickiest dog today. There you go. Come on, come here. Look at his tail. It's like so hurt. Eat. Eat. There we go. Woo! That was a close call and an almost near horrible ending to this episode 12. Let's end on a better note. We've got the dog fed. I just realized, I don't know why, uh, we had some yellow dye this whole time. It was the dandelion. So let's go get the dandelion and make one more sheep yellow. Who wants to be the yellow sheep? I think you do. And we've got a yellow sheep. I don't know why I didn't do that before. That was nuts. That was a crazy episode. I'm so glad we were able to rescue our dog. And so there we go. We survived another crazy adventure. A little bit toasty in the nether. Next time I go, I will be definitely more prepared. Thank you for watching. Please continue to send awesome comments, even pictures. I might share them. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Whew. Let's not go to the nether again. Until we are better prepared. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.